We're going to be looking at the Argonated Mercury from 2006 and comparing that with the E119 Tri Plus from 2016. It's a span of 10 years which displays the advancement of time trial bike design and it's just so cool to see the evolution of Argonated. There's a few elements of Argon 18's design language seen between the two bikes. The bladed fork. The rear wheel arch. And riding the two, the stiffness of the frame is impeccable. They're both comparable and I would say it's a lot stiffer than a look and slightly stiffer than a felt DA series TT. And that is where the similarities end. The tube has gone from a traditional oval airfoil which has shifted towards one with angular corners and a camtail profile which keeps things aerodynamically efficient during headwind and crosswinds. This profile is being utilised in the seat post, whereas Mercury uses a standard circular seat post. The E119 stem is integrated with the cockpit, keeping the frontal area sleek. Mercury uses a standard stem, which is highly adjustable to suit the individual heights. Cable routing on the E119 has been mostly concealed within the frame. The only cable that is visible comes from the blip box. Cable routing is a bit of a hassle, which can only be accessed from the bottom plate. Mercury does it all externally, which can appear messy very quickly, but servicing is always a breeze. Argon has come a long way, from the Mercury that combines aluminium, 12K and 3K carbon to the E119 which comprises of a full carbon monocoque design. One thing that I really like on the E119 is the integrated concealed brakes which is hidden under these fairings on the front and back which keeps the airflow neat while Mercury uses external brakes. I hope this comparison has given you a little bit more insights in the evolution of time trial frames and how bike design has shifted so drastically within years.